Hi everyone, I'm Laura Sturks from MakingCardsIsSun.com and today I'm very excited to be guest designing here on the My Favorite Things YouTube channel. In this video I'll be making a fun Christmas card with the Secret Santa set from the October release, so let's get started. I'm going to start out by stamping this adorable image on some white cardstock. I just love this image because the Santa is peeking from behind the Christmas tree and I think that's so adorable. I stamped this image with some black ink on some Nina Solar White cardstock which I really like for Copic coloring. For my Santa cap I'm using R29, R24 and R22. The markers I'm using are the Copic sketch markers. There are a lot of different techniques you can do to color your images. The one that I think is the easiest is to use two or three markers per color that you're using. So for this red, I'm using three different shades of red. I like to start out with my darkest color, then move on to my mid-tone, and then finally I finish it with my lightest color to blend everything together. For Santa's face, I'm using E53, E51, and E50. And then to add some shading um, to those white pieces, I'm using an NO um, Copic sketch marker. For the beard, I'm also going in with the N0 marker, but I'm also using my colorless blender just to blend that out a little bit so you don't see any harsh lines. I want everything to be smooth and soft and it's just a shade, it's a shadow so it's not like I really wanted to add actual gray to these pieces. Then for his little bluff I'm using N3, N2 and N0. And I wanted to darken that up a little bit so I just went back in with the N3 and then I just blended that out with the N0 marker. Next it's time to color the actual Christmas tree. For this Christmas tree I'm using YG67, YG17 and YG03. I just repeated the same steps over and over again until I finished coloring the entire tree. These three shades work really well together and I really like how this tree turned out. Finally, it's time to color the Christmas bubbles. I'm using some different shades for each bubble. I used Y04 and Y000 for the yellow ornaments. Then I'm using BG13, BG32 and BG11 for the turquoise bubbles. And then finally, for the red ones, I'm going back to R29, R24 and R22. This time I actually stuck to the traditional Christmas colors but I also wanted to add a modern twist to it by adding some of that turquoise here and there. I'm coloring the basket for our Christmas tree with N4, N3 and N2 and then I'm going to color this little rug. So for the edge of it I'm using Y04 and Y000. And then for the inside of the rug, I'm using BG13, BG32, and BG11. This is my favorite Copic sketch marker combination. I just love this particular um, combo because it's such a pretty turquoise. And I pretty much love every, anything uh, turquoise or mint colored. I think it's just a lovely color. After coloring this tree, I realized I still had to stamp some of the gifts or the presents from the Secret Santa stamp set, so I went ahead and did that. And now I'm just coloring them with the same combos that I used to color the Christmas tree and the Santa. So for this red, I'm going back to R29, R24 and R22. This was actually one of the first Copic markers that I bought, so these three were the first markers that I bought. I recommend to um, buy primary colors. So I started out by buying red, yellow, 
um, and also blue. Actually, I also bought green and pink because these were some colors that I used a lot. So I just recommend to buy colors that you really love and colors that you're going to be using a lot. So for that present over there, I just used a green marker to add some polka dots. Instead of coloring it in a with a solid color, I just wanted to add a little bit of an extra uh, festive touch to the wrapping paper. After coloring all of these images, I used the coordinating dies to cut that out. And next, it's time to create a background for this um, image. So first, I adhered my piece of white cardstock to my craft mat with a bit of washi tape. I'm also going to make sure that my craft mat is um, stuck to my other craft mat. So I just attached that to my pink craft mat with some washi tape. And then I'm using the radi Radiating Rays stencil from My Favorite Things to create a nice background. I'm using three different shades of Distress Oxide ink pads. First, I'm starting out with the darkest shade, which is Faded Jeans. Then I'm moving on to a mid-tone color. This one is Broken China. And then finally, I'll be using Tumbled Glass to, um, or for my lightest shade of blue. So these Distress Oxide inks are really great to create quick or fast um, backgrounds. These blend like butter since they're pigment inks. And I think that they blend um, more effortlessly than the regular Distress ink. So I have to put a lot, a, a lot more pressure on the regular Distress inks to get a nice smooth blend. And with these Distress Oxide inks, I just have to grab a color, blend it a little bit. I don't even have to put a lot of pressure on my blending tool in order to get a nice smooth background. So I just repeated that step twice. And then after I was happy with my background I just let that dry for a while and then here I just stamped a sentiment from the Secret Santa stamp set. So since I stamped that with my Misty tool I can easily stamp over my sentiment once more with Versamark ink and then I'm just sprinkling on some clear embossing powder and then I'll be heat setting that. So you can totally skip this step. I just wanted to add some clear embossing powder to my sentiment to get more dimension and a little bit more shine on this Christmas card. Next, I am adhering my background piece to a piece of foam. So you can also use regular foam squares. I just like to use foam sheets because it's easy when I mail them out. Um, but that's just totally up to you. Finally, I'm also going to adhere the Santa and Christmas tree image to my background with some foam squares. So I'm also going to adhere the little gifts that I colored earlier in the video with some foam squares just to make everything nice and sturdy, especially when you're going to be mailing out cards. You need to make sure that your elements are adhered very well and that they are not going to move or slide. Finally, I'm going to finish off this card by adding a little bit of sparkle here and there. I'm using a Wink of Stella glitter pen to add a coat of clear glitter to the Christmas bottles and to the bows of my gifts. Also adding a layer of Tonic Nouveau crystal glaze to add extra dimension and shine. And to finish off this card, I'm also applying some White Blizzard Tonic Nouveau Glitter Drops. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.